Cats who react to nepetalactone differ in their individual responses. But this much is known. Once ingested, catnip goes off like an atomic bomb within those 300 million neurons sitting inside a cat's cerebral cortex. That's a clip from Jason Willis's excellent 2013 short film, Catnip, Egress to Oblivion. Yeah, a lot of drug-filled craziness here with the felines, but what is this nip epidemic all about? <laughs> Just one nibble of the nip and they're off to the races, chasing, rolling, staring into the infinite blackness beyond the limits of humanity's perceivable universe. Unless they just don't have the gene, and 20 to 30 percent of cats don't. But let's not put the cart full of crazy cats before the horse. Just what is catnip? Catnip plants such as Nepeta, Cataria, and other Nepeta species are members of the mint family and are native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Settlers introduced the plant to North America, and now it thrives in pet stores, home gardens, and is a wild weed, despite the drug-crazed hunger of America's feral hordes. Well, about that drug crazed bit, catnip is considered non-addictive and completely harmless to cats, so don't feel guilty about expanding your pet's tiny mind. You probably know how it goes down. A nip-loving cat rubs against the catnip, it eats it, it rolls all over it, it kicks at it, and generally goes nuts for around uh, 10 minutes. Then, as with many things in its life, the cat just suddenly loses interest and walks away. This will leave them immune to catnip's power for about a half of an hour, but then it's off to the races again when they dive back in. Humans are generally amused and uh, maybe a little confused by all of this. Catnip doesn't even smell like anything, at least not to us. The secret can be found in nepetalactone, a volatile oil found in catnip. It enters the cat's nasal tissue where, according to Scientific American, it binds to protein receptors that stimulate sensory neurons. This sets off the olfactory bulb neurons, which feed into several different regions of the cat brain, including the amygdala, which concerns emotional responses to stimuli, and the almighty hypothalamus. These neurological explosions impact the cat's behavioral response response and the pituitary gland, resulting in an ecstatic sexual eruption of sensation. Just think about ecstasy-fueled ravers or that pool scene in Rocky Horror, and you have a general idea of what might be going on inside the cat brain. But don't get too excited, humans. Nepetalactone won't work on your hominid brain. That doesn't mean we haven't consumed it before, though. We've used it in teas, rubbed it on skin ailments, treated our flatulence with it, and British boxers allegedly once chewed it to beef up their in-ring ferocity. In teas, cat it boasts a mild sedative effect, so you'll find it used in alternative medicine to treat a number of ailments. But for the tiny fur-faced predators that live in and around our homes, well, administer as often as you dare. So what about you? Do you have a cat that loves the nip? And if so, what sort of shenanigans does that crazy feline get up to? Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos that come in, make sure to subscribe.